In this video, we'll take a plywood drum set and refinish it to make it look um, sort of like these drum sets that I've been seeing. I'll go to a show and everybody's got these nice drum sets with um, a burst finish or a natural finished um, stain type finish and they look really great. Mine had uh, this crazy looking gold wrap and it, it's a wrap. I was able to pull that off um, with very little effort and refinish the drum set to make it look uh, a little more vintage, a little more uh, inviting, just more natural, I guess. So, um, if you have a nice drum set that's actually um, solid wood, I would suggest that you take a lot more time if you're planning on refinishing it. And if it's a vintage drum set, don't refinish it. Just, if you don't like the way it looks, sell it. Someone will buy it for what it's worth. Someone out there is looking for that vintage drum set. If it's a 1982 Tama, don't refinish it. Have you ever seen Antiques Roadshow? Don't refinish it. Don't. Just sell it for what it's worth. Um, this is just a plywood drum set. It's a plywood lower cost drum set. I found this uh, in the classifieds for 120 bucks. And then, you know, I added my own symbols and the heads and the hardware. And I refinished it. And I love it. I think it looks really great now. So, um... Uh, um, let me show you a couple more clips of the process. It's not going to be the greatest video, but yeah. All right, so I took the wrap off of the Percussion Plus drum set. This was fairly easy. Um, here's the wrap. Um, Looking at uh, just a strip of double stick tape, very good double stick tape, but that's um, and on the edge here too. There's a thin layer going all the way across, and uh, it came off. It is black on the other side. If I want shiny black, I'm set. Not a whole lot of grain going on here, but I think after putting some of this uh, rub in, uh, Watco stuff, a little bit of grain on that puppy, but then we got a biscuit right there, but oh well, we'll see how that comes out. Put some staining on it. So this is what I used, the Watco Danish oil. I just poured that into a little dish and used a folded up paper towel and wiped it on. There's a little picture here. You just wipe that stuff on. You don't have to wipe it off. You just cover it. Okay. Um, and that's what I did uh, that evening after I took all the hardware off, put the Danish oil on. The next morning, I started applying shellac, uh, just spray on shellac, um, about you know 20 to 30 minutes in between layers. I think I only did three layers because I ran out. <laughs> so this doesn't really give you a great finish. This looks great. The Danish oil looks great. If you want a nice clear coat finish, I suggest you know covering it in shellac and then covering it in a polyurethane. Uh, you can get that in a spray form, um, but you're gonna want time, okay? You're gonna want to apply a layer, do some sanding, and apply another layer the next day, that type of thing. Um, you know, but this is a, a lower price drum set. I just wanted to give it a different look, something that I would like better, and it came out good for me for what I wanted. Looks like a bunch of lampshades. <laughs> 